Our Earth is surrounded by an atmosphere containing oxygen and water vapour, the very things that cause corrosion. You can make water vapour condense on a cold surface. You can also make oxygen condense into a liquid if air is cooled to below minus 183 degrees centigrade. Heat from the room is making it boil, turning the liquid oxygen back into a gas. This is a metal called magnesium. Heat it and it reacts with oxygen in the air to form this, magnesium oxide. This piece of carbon steel will also form an oxide when heated. The red-hot surface is reacting with oxygen in the air inside the furnace. It's no longer shiny, and plunging it into cold water makes the oxide spall off. Because carbon steel contains over 95% iron, this is iron oxide. Because oxygen is being added during oxidation, the weight increases. So this equipment monitors the oxidation by weighing the piece of steel in the furnace. As you can see, the oxide starts to form quickly on the carbon steel. Then it slows down. This is because at first it's easy for the iron and oxygen atoms to join up. But as the iron oxide gets thicker, it becomes more difficult for iron atoms to reach the oxygen. However, it never stops forming, and eventually the carbon steel would be completely destroyed. The oxidation of stainless steel is much slower. The chromium in the steel forms an oxide that makes it more difficult for the metal and oxygen to meet, making stainless steel resistant to heat. So carbon steel would be no use in this heat, and this furnace floor is made from stainless steel. Of course, not all stainless steels are used at high temperatures. Many are used to resist corrosion in water, or much more aggressive liquids in chemical plants.